Hello everyone, this video is a demonstration for the final project um, movie checkout system. So here, if I go to the website localhost8080, this is my home page. I can log in as different users, as you can see. This is months, checkout, history, back to main. This is Tom's, and I can add a new movie here, and I can search movie here. So if I want to add a new movie, let's say, um, dog movie, dog, okay, description, a movie about dog, total number, two, year made, 2023, once, 100 minutes. And real estate, I say yesterday. Rating G genre family and we call it safe movie. And this is a list of all the movies uh, from the database. And the new movie ad is added at the bottom. Um, back to main, we can also search movie. If we search by title, I say I'm gonna find a matrix. This one. And we found the mattress movie. Again, if we search by description, why well, use suit? We found Ant Man movie, a super suit, here in the description. Back to main, we can also log in as different user. If we log in as Luna, if we want to browse a movie, we see I want to borrow the new movie dog, check out. And also here it showed up in the checkout list and this checkout date. If I want to say, okay, I want to return the Matrix movie, we returned it, now to show the return date. If we say, well, I also want to return the dog movie, return it with return date, browse movie again, the dog movie become two. If we check it out, if we browse movie again, it will become one. So it's an available copy would update based on the checkout and return activity back to main um, if we want to retrieve uh, users information using API rest API so here you can type in a URL you can type localhost 8080 checkout list question mark customer ID equal to let's say one no, that's not right. Okay, I don't think that's the right page. Is it? Really? No, oh, no, not this one. It's a different, this is a right URL, okay. Okay, we just have to type localhost 8080 question slash then API uh, check out history, then customer ID 1 is a uh, month's check out history, check out uh, customer ID, the movie check out and return date, check out date, if we change it to 4, this is customer Tom, his history, if we want to retrieve the movie by its title using API REST, we're gonna need to type API slash uh, movie question mark title. This is a movie about Hua Hua. If we change to the matrix, this is a movie about the matrix using API REST. Okay. And this part is the uh, database part in the movie checkout system. Database, I have three tables, checkout list, customer, and movie. For checkout, I have two foreign keys. Uh, it's my column. And I have two foreign keys. One is customer ID. One is movie ID. Reference to the movie table's ID column. Another one is customer ID. Reference to the customer table's ID column. This is my customer table with two columns, ID and name. Another one is 
movie table with all those columns. Now for the code part, I have four different packages: service entity, deal, and controller. And for the entity, I have checkout, customer, and movie. For the DIO, I have checkout repository, customer repository, and movie repository. As you can see, they all extend from JPA repository. And I use template, so all my view are in HTML files, and they are under templates folder. And in my uh, resource uh, application dot property, this is how I connect with the database. And in the palm XML file is all my dependencies. This one, this is generated by the dot start dot uh, start dot spring dot io. So the website starter uh, spring initializer website. So with all the dependency JPA, the dependency taking care of a hibernate mapping. This one is time leaf for the views. And this is a web for the web. And this one is connector for connecting the MySQL database. This is a Maven plugin. This one, Dev tools, this one, um, make it so when you update the code, it will be automatically um, updated in the web. So you do not need to stop the server and restart the server. It's happen automatically. Mm. And this one is my applic uh, API REST API controller with all the mapping. Okay, for the checkout entity, did I tell you the mapping thing? Um, well, I have two many to one mapping. This is a hibernate ORM mapping, and they all with the annotation entity table to connect with the database. In the customer, I have one to many mapping to the check checkout. Uh, I think and main controller, I have all the mapping. Turn. I think that's it.